Well, some Rockford Public School students were honored today. They'll be going on to serve our country after they graduate. Our Jess Lipson was at this ceremony. He joins us now in studio. And Jess, what do they have to say? Well, David, 13 students are heading into the armed forces. Jefferson High School is one of the few schools in the area holding a signing ceremony for the students setting out to serve the country. Passionate about helping people. That's something I want to do for the rest of my life. Arely Herminia Vasquez Caldera hopes to one day save lives as a nurse. However, the Jefferson student will first be saving lives serving our country. The soon-to-be graduate will be heading off to the National Guard, but first her and her fellow classmates enlisting into the armed forces were honored. I am very grateful that my recruiter came in here and like spoke to us, all different type of classes, like he goes in, talks to classes, and he came into my class and I was like, you know what, I want to do this, you know? It's like a one-in-a-life opportunity and I do not regret it at all. Jefferson High School is one of the few in the state line holding a signing ceremony for those enlisted into the armed forces. David Bardwell, a teacher and military club sponsor, puts on the ceremony. As someone who served, he knows how impactful something like this is on the students. Uh, it's really nice because not most high schools do this type of stuff, but for my high school to do it for me, it shows that they appreciate us and they actually care about what we're doing and where our lives are taking us. So it's really fun and a great idea that they came up with. So we can just like, you know, get a little bit of everything before we ship out. So this is my favorite event out of the year. Um, it's coming here to this high schools like, you know, throughout the four years. You know, a lot of them, I've known them since freshman years. Staff Sergeant Oliver Prado spoke about the support needed from the students' loved ones. His mom told him to really get to know the family through the process. She told me like, hey, make sure, you know, even if they're 18 years old and they don't need a parental consent, make sure that you talk to the parents because that's probably one of the biggest support that they're going to have. You know, they're the ones that are going to be writing a letter, um, you know, telling you what's going on back at home and then just helping you out like mentally more than anything. There were many supportive families in that audience today. The smiles on the students' faces were big, but I think the ones on their parents' faces were even bigger. David? I'm sure they were, Jess. Best of luck with them in this next journey.